All right. Let's get into it here. Monday morning podcast content. Uh, Pulsic injury. All right. If you're going to talk about football, do a tiny bit of reading. Um, Why? (laughs) Uh, Christian Pulisic suffered a pelvic contortion from a goalkeeper knee. Not exactly flopping. A word you made up and used without any knowledge. Stick to hockey. Okay. So a soccer player finally actually got hurt. You know what I mean? I mean, first of all, don't even fucking act. We call it flopping over here. I don't know what you guys call it. Giving your team a rest. I mean, it's literally pretending you're hurt is literally part of of soccer. How many times are you going to cry wolf before I'm going to be like, even when you actually get hurt, I'm not going to believe that it happened. Um, all right. If you're going to talk about football, for fuck's sakes, do a tidy bit of reading. I don't do a tidy bit of reading about anything. Everything on this, you just, Jesus Christ. Every fucking six minutes, there's somebody rolling around on the fucking pitch in agony. Agony. And then five seconds later, you see the same guy running down the, it's like when Paul Pierce got carried off the court on a, like a, I don't know what, then that fucking final, and two seconds later, he came walking back. I was like, what the fuck was that? That's my team I'm making fun of. Look at the Raider fans, bunch of animals. Um, I'll tell you this, sir. The women play a manlier game of soccer than the men do. There's way less flopping. Way less flopping. They get hit, they bounce back up. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on with the guy. So I guess this guy actually got hurt. So my apologies. All right? But you can't get mad at me. What do you mean do a little bit of reading? I got to read about every fucking injury? If I did a little bit of reading about that, sir, I would find out that 90% of the people were actually okay. Listen, I saw Mo Salah one time on a fucking breakaway, whatever the fuck you call it, a freebie, a friendly. He's running down the fucking field there or the pitch or the hedgerow, as Robert Plant might call it. And this guy behind him just fucking, just like a fucking, I don't know, one of the most cowardly moves ever. He just took his cleat and just fucking stomped on the back of his fucking calf. All right? And the guy kept going. And he went down and scored a goal. You know what? If it was hockey, after he did that, he could have turned around and beat the fuck out of that guy so that guy wouldn't do it again. That's what's missing in soccer. All right. Why don't you watch a little bit of hockey and see how a man's game played? All right? Instead of watching a bunch of men fucking rolling around in agony in their goddamn shorts every fucking three minutes. Jesus Christ. If I wanted to watch that, I'd watch Sex in the City. Um, he didn't call me back. I know soccer's a beautiful game. I'm just being a... I wish I had time to watch more of the World Cup. I mean, it's actually the only true world championship, I feel. You can't even say that about the Olympics. Look at the fucking Rams. The Rams are going to win this goddamn game. Um, you can't even say that about the Olympics because there's all of these, uh, you know, PEDs and all of that shit. They always just seems to be... Or even like back in the day when we didn't let professional athletes play in the Olympics and then we would go against Russia and it was their pro athletes versus our fucking amateurs. There's always... There's, always, there's, there's too much fucking... Uh, I'm not a big Olympics guy. Um, All right. Coffee hobbyist. Hey, Bill, I got really into coffee during the first months of the pandemic. I mean, really into it. I spent over $400 on equipment. Oh, my God. Electric grinder. Shemex. Shemex. Temperature controlled gooseneck kettle. Aeropress. French press. I haven't bought an espresso espresso machine yet. Dude, those things are like, you can buy a fucking engine for your car for the amount of money those things are. They're like two or three grand. I haven't bought an espresso machine yet to get into milk drinks yet though. Um, Once you learn more about coffee, you discover that it's very similar to other hobbies like craft beer. It's interesting, fun, and enjoyable. Yeah, and also highly addictive. Uh, The ritual of making a good pour over in the morning is cathartic and like meditation. I mean, I can't argue with that. 
I mean, I got to be honest with you, sitting down with a cigar, you know, when you have your right drink, you know, the proper ashtray, the right group of people, you know, what kind of, you know, there's people actually know whether you go straight cut or a V cut on different styles or whatever, how you light the thing. I love a ritual. That's making me want to have a nice cup of coffee right now. Um, anyway, grinding the beans, boiling the water, it's a peaceful process. Um, you should take up a career in writing about coffee because I got relaxed just reading that. Uh, ever since then, I only grind and buy fresh roasted beans from the local roasters in my city and state to support small businesses. Jesus Christ, is this who did Santa Claus write this? This is incredible. I also don't go to Starbucks anymore. Dude, fuck Starbucks. Starbucks couldn't make a fucking espresso if their goddamn life depended on it. Their goddamn burnt beans. That is the McDonald's. They're probably owned by McDonald's. That's the McDonald's of fucking coffee. Fuck Starbucks. Um, I only go to smaller uh, local coffee shops and maybe smaller lo- small local chains. You should explore more about coffee outside of a cappuccino. You might really enjoy it. Thanks and go love yourself. Look at this person. Just this person here has figured out life. Um, Why don't you help me out? I just love a cappuccino so much. Um, I've never tried anything else. No Americano or whatever. I've never done that. I like an espresso or a cappuccino. Um, I'm sort of parked there until I get sick of it. You know, I I did find a... uh, I was in a part of Hollywood I'm never in, and I found this this um, coffee shop that was um, it was made from an old gas station, um, and they made a great espresso and cappuccino. Um, I don't know, dude. Do I really do I really need another thing to get into? You know. Because then I'm going to go out and then I'm going to have to buy this stupid espresso machine. And then I'm going to buy the beans and I'm going to do all of that. You know what? I actually, I looked into it and what I actually thought was, you know what? I'm going to let somebody else who figured this out make this shit for me and I'll give them my money. Um, Having said that, I learned how to make a French omelet this week. Which is, um, not saying I do it well, but I, I actually finally understand the ins and outs of it. And uh, I made three of them this week. I'm getting a little sick of eating omelets, but practice makes perfect. Um, All right, morning intake. 